Massachusetts here at Overclocked 4. You ever been to Boston before else? No, you have. I've been I've been to Shine and uh, PAX East and... Uh, uh, PAX East? No, that's I've not been to PAX West. No, PAX East. This is not a SpongeBob episode, Koopa. It can be. Final destination! Mars and Light fighting off against oh, Kool-Aid and Entarps. Oh God, what is this? Here in Mario Central. This is looking like Canada Cup all over again. Mario's abound. Yeah, so double Mario against the Star Fox characters. So I feel bad for Mars and Light. They just keep fighting like these mirror matches. They're like two of the same character over and over. First it was the Diddy Kongs. Now you got the Marios. No, Kool-Aid and... Uh, oh, you're right. And I mixed up the team. The, yeah, Regardless. It's fine. We had we the flood them. synchronization. That was pretty slick. Yeah, that's that, you're soaked at that point. That's going to go right through the jacket. Oh, yeah. So we'll see how this works out, man. Again, I, it's hard to account for how Falco like functions as a team's character. But Mario, we all know, is very good. And he, he makes a really good teammate with himself, obviously. Just he's able to follow up of his own you know, stuff very well. Like Most mirror teams usually are pretty good at doing that. That's unfortunate for Mario when he's charging forward smash there. He saw Light coming in with that back air, connecting it. Because he's in the middle of charging, had higher knockback, so he was, he was like sending flying. When you're caught between two Mario up smashes, dear God, get out of there. There's very few things scarier than that. One of them is probably getting up smashed by uh, Fox. Okay, Light's starting to cook. That was a good response. He just had to go for the up B. There we Got go. Got the double up smash. Yeehaw. Pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up. Ride him up, cowboy. Now, which one's Kool Aid? I think Kool Aid's the. I, I want to say he's the yellow one, yeah, but I, I don't think, actually know. I think Kool Aid's the Lakers, Mario. Um, pipe it up? Okay, yeah. 100%. Cool. So he's definitely Team Piranha Plant then. Yes. He is Team Plant. By the way, his name is Piranha Plant, not Petey. There, no, he's dead. I'm dead. All right. On the inside. We, got, we got PD Piranha back on stage. Stop. Oh my god. Okay, Light's gonna get this up tilt. Yeah, Ooh, good mix up. Holding him, trying to see what his partner was gonna do. Yeah, Light, when he has you like cornered in the edge like that, he's like one of the scariest players to be against, man. Very, very reminiscent of like zero edge guarding. Yeah, you're just almost never gonna get back. Good punish. I able to get the finish off the job. Now, Mario's not going to be able to get that down throw combo into up tilts like it usually does in singles because there are a lot of uh, outside factors that influence that, like another character. Yeah, <laughs> having an extra body there definitely can tend to make things much more difficult than they actually are. That was okay. Wow, that sent them at an awful <laughs> That was so rude! Like, just went for a footstool unnecessarily. Yeah. Was, yeah, what is, okay, they're actually goofing around at this point. Kool-Aid really wants a spike. This is an absolute... He wants it so bad, and they're not giving it to him. They're just going to throw away a stock. I'm so mad. <laughs> just this gonna is why I hate that. doubles, Koopa. You, you might hate it, but I love this. I don't hate doubles. This is just so bad, man. Like, what's kool supposed to do? Prayer. Pray. <laughs> Ooh, nice catch with the up smash, except it's on his partner. Okay, they stopped going off stage because they recognized where he could <laughs> potentially bring this back. But right there, you saw him covering so many different options, right? You saw Falco chilling in the back, so if he were to roll onto the stage, he'd mm -hmm. cover that option. Normal get up, lights got it covered. Jump, light could easily react to it, or Falco could react to it. One of them, oh, if one of them reacts to it, they easily do it. Get up, attack, his shield, like, he was literally stuck. <laughs> I just had all the time in the world to just up smash there. I'm mostly shocked that, um, that Shulk? that goes, oh no. He was hovering. Yo, if they go Shulk, how happy are you? Uh, I, will, I will actually jump in this. I will become the most excited person in the world. Oh, Pac, man, that's the oh, opposite. Chef Pac? Okay, I might, I might catch a beat for this, but I think Pac-Man is one of the most boring characters in Smash 4. I mean, you're not wrong. People just aren't going to want to hear you say that. No, I know, it's just... Wouldn't you agree, Devin? If Pac-Man was a like top tier character in this game, people would despise him. Would I agree? If, is Pac-Man the most boring? If he was the best character in the game. Well, now you're changing reality. I am. I got. I found the uh, reality night, stone. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, no. I, yeah, I love DC comics, man. That's Three, awesome. Two, one, Do you? Go. I gotta go. Uh, oh, okay. This is fun. Stanley would be mad. 
Rest, rest in peace. Excelsior. Excel. It, this is. The, oh, is he dead? Wow. Okay. <laughs> so we got double meta night now. That's the classic. That's the classic. Is, is he dead? <laughs> Catch him. This is insane, man. All right. So I don't understand. Like they went double Mario, now they're going double meta night. Like, just, what, I want to know their logic. Oh, uh, they like meta night. They made it like Mario. I don't know. I can't reason with these people, man. They're smarter than I am. Saw Barnes going for the big end with that Firebird. Oh, <laughs> he's going to get a Read that man. spot dodge. Still not able to get the kill. He's at too low percent. Stage spike, correct Amondo. <laughs> Mars went flying. Nice tech. Now, this seems to be something that both Knights seem to be doing. Is they're throwing out forward airs against the edge of the stage on the recoveries. Because Fock, the, the spaces have very predictable recoveries when they're coming from vertical. Yeah, that's why your trigger finger needs to be really good. But both Mars and Light up Roman, their, their ability to tech against the stage, against recoveries like that, very, very good. Yeah. Ooh, nice pivot grab. Uh, but not going to be death just yet for Light. See, Entarps is trying to get something going right now. These are combatants struggling a little bit, and there we go, death for Kool Aid. All right, so we got Light jumping in. Still got high percent for his stock. Has been oh taken away. God. Called out that forward smash, being brave. Af. There oh. he goes. Finally gets caught, but he killed his teammate in the process, and it is just. It is a mess. This is straight memes, man. Honestly, Ooh. that was so good. And oh, he but he died for it. That sucks. Well, Mars, what is going on? <laughs> I've lost track. I love Entarps' use of shuttle loop to like force these, the stage. These guys guys guys. love playing off stage. I'll tell you what, dude. But they love going off stage. I mean, it's got like a bajillion jumps. So. They've engaged in neutral, maybe like. Four times. Oh yeah, everyone's just been rushing it down, slamming their face on the buttons. Ooh, not a great follow-up there for the uh, red team, but it's a little bit get some damage in. Ooh, saw him getting his forward smash charge at the ready. Getting a complete, completely denied by that dash stack though. See Mars. Definitely just needs to be able to Oh he no! spiked his teammate in the process. That might be huge for the red team right now, because Mars is hitting at a very dangerous percent, and <laughs> Falco definitely leaves a lot to be desired in regards to survivability. And just as you say that. Oh, he came back! Okay. Let's go, Mars, but getting a couple of that she shuttle loop yeah. light is by himself. That like, was from the bottom of the pla from the under the stage and it killed him. Light could potentially bring this back if he catches one up smash on Kool-Aid. Yeah, that's kind of the awkward part right now, because now that you see, you know, Light in the 2v1, he's playing a character that he's very well versed in, where I feel like Kool-Aid and Entart put themselves at a disadvantage because they're playing Meta Knight. Yeah, or you could do that. That was Matches broken. him with the forward air. It doesn't matter what you think of the Meta Knight versus Fox matchup, there's two of these suckers coming at you. You're probably going to probably gonna play out like that. Yeah, it's probably going to hurt. Yeah. Honestly. Honestly, I'm, I'm sure. Like, like, I'm sure Light was not too happy about that spike coming from Mars, you know? Uh, I, that not. was definitely a game changer. I feel like they easily could have won that game. They just didn't, didn't kill. Yeah. But they're still so yoking it up. I think they're having a good time. No, they are. They are. Yeah. Just as I hope as you guys are at home. Once again, we're coming to you live from Overclock 4 at the Balance Patch in Boston, Massachusetts, streamed by House of 3000. It's your boy Koopa here with your boy Aussie. Bring you guys Hello. game three of this sick doubles play. Sick, big, nasty, totally ill. <laughs> what did you say? Dude, they caught the flu, I, you would say. I'm sick of your jokes. I'm, 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 I'm actually diseased of my jokes, too. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Again, Town and City going to be the stage for this uh, year match. Makes sense. Obviously, I feel like Buck is, that's like his third grab in a row. That's insane. Yeah. He's just stomping, dude. He's doing a lot like a river dance. All, all of his, all of his opponents. So Mennonite's Irish. Didn't know yeah. That. I mean, you don't have to be Irish to do the river dance. I can do the river dance. <laughs> I cannot. You want me to teach you? Uh, sure. So it, it requires you to get a grab with Mennonite. And then hit down on a controller. Yeah. Right? Ooh, that was a good setup. I like that. Mennonite's just uh, tossing Light's body like a ragdoll. Ooh. 
Caught him there rapid yep. jabbing and again, Mars killing light. <laughs> Feels bad, man. There you go. Gonna redeem himself though with yeah. that uh, kill on Kool-Aid. But now Mars the only one still uh, standing with three stocks right now. Let's see how long he'll be able to hold on to that. That would have been so smooth if that laser connected. I didn't know what would have happened, but it would have looked really cool. We got some offstage pressure coming out here. Not too much happening. <laughs> okay, Mars. <laughs> He's still living though, it's fine. That was amazing. Great yeah. back air right there to cover the high recovery. Easy reaction. You got Light playing some platform games on the right side. Mars going Ooh. for a 1v1 himself. Gets Entarps on the left side. Ooh. Went for it all with that up smash. Great dash attack right there to save Entarps just for a moment. But the chase proving to be too uh, strong right there from Light. And Kool-Aid kind of just held his own there in a 1v2. Ooh. Good setup. Light's going to be able to avoid the follow-up from Entarps. Able to live. Up airs. Coming from everyone. Up air, up air, NATO baby. Ooh, good footstool down there right there, also. Yeah, I don't know what Cooley was looking for there, but that's gonna result in death for him. Drag him down to the blast zone. Another? Okay. <laughs> that laser hit him. That was funny. Cool. I mean, might as well just shoot out the laser. They're just covering some options, easy damage to mess with their hit stun. So the good thing here for Kool-Aid at least is that he's going to have a lot of damage to work with at the very least. But, but there's four stocks against one. Yeah, it's looking pretty grim. Like, even that death, that death doesn't matter. He was at high percent. Like, you saw Light, they don't even care. He tried to up smash his TD. <laughs> Not looking too good for our boy right there. Decided to just go with this laser. I think they're honestly just going to laser him. I don't blame him. What, what did you? Oh, the setups? Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> he didn't get the follow-up afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Mars was pretty... I mean, uh, Kool-Aid was definitely just done with that. I would be, too, honestly. It's just like, if you got... You got that higher percent, 1v2, and you got three stocks still. It's kind of like, just don't lower yeah. your morale anymore. Just move on to the next game. Just don't... I try to say that every every broadcast I'm on for doubles. Kool-Aid's like, doing what's good for us. Yeah, it's good Not for us, good time. for his team, good for society in general. You have longer arms than me. Can you grab my phone? <laughs> what? I dropped my stuff. You can't reach your phone? I'm, I'm too short, man. Can you grab my pocket? I can't reach no, you can, can you concentrate? Help out lanky, stuff. Okay, call me that one more time. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> there you go, Pocky. I'm hearing Dr. Mario a lot, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a character that's being selected. But is that Dark Pit coming out? Oh. No. They're teasing us. I know Kool-Aid used to play Pit back in the Brawl days. That's very true. Like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Back <laughs> when the meta was uh, di on a CRT. Uh, there we go. So we're actually getting some legitimate characters um, this game right here. Bro, poor Devin, man. This thumbnail is going to look like a... It's literally just gonna it's be in a shambles. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just make the thumbnail just Light's face and you'll be good. Yeah, it's just Light wearing the sweatshirt. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Battlefield. We got the mains coming out. She can core it. No more trying these like little gimmick duos you got going with the Marios and the Meta Knights. But yet, Mars continuing to say Falco. I respect it. I mean, he doesn't feel comfortable with Zero Suit and Doubles as much as. Uh, he used to. Yeah, but you think you'd play like another character. I mean, Falco's working. That's true. He has another reason to switch off of it, yeah. So. Because right now, Falco and Fox are kind of like complementing each other, right? Because you got Falco with the kill power and Fox with the the kill power. <laughs> they're, well, I mean, they both kind of they're both spacey, so they both kind of like function similarly. Yeah. It's just, just Fox that Fox is faster. Yeah, Fox is so much better than Falco can. Yeah. So. Like his oh. hitbox placement's better. Trying to apply some shield pressure against him. Great catch from Mars. Can be able to punish that with a pin. And this that that was a prime example wow. of a train happening where it was punished to punish to punish until the last man survived, which happened to be light. We take those men. But now Light's in a bad spot. Catches him with the Firefox. Ops to go for yet another offstage kill. I mean, might as well go for it. You got Gorn at 20%, you got higher percent. That's a gamble. You light take. is a psychopath. Oh no! 
down, the down throw animation actually proving to be the demise there. But he was at like 137, so it's like, okay. Yeah. You're, you're a dragon, you're stomping on me, I get it. Yeah. Have you ever been stepped on by a dragon before, Austin? No! Don't ever ask me that again. <laughs> Have you? Anyway, back to the game. This is a game that we play, family friendly Super Smash Brothers. Put Nintendo wow. Wii U, rated E10 up. <laughs> Remember when Brawl was rated T? For yeah, because of Zero Suit dropping through the air vents in subspace. Is that what that was? Nah, I'm just making stuff up. I was gonna say, what? I thought it was because of Snake. Well, probably Snake. Snake. Ooh, great catch, that down smash. Coming from the light. They're both opting to try to go with that edge guard pressure, but. What oh, up no! what? Why? I saw where, what Cooley was going for. He was trying to get the two for one. Where he takes the stock from light, but also loses one of yeah. his own. But it was a gamble that just did not pay off in the end. All right, got two one v ones happening here. Yeah, I do like the strategy from the green team, keeping both Kool Aid and Entar separated. You know, when they've been able to like, con you know, conjoin and you know, pull up some combos. Combine. To yeah. To when they're when they're doing their combos together, they're able to get them for a lot of damage. So. Yeah, you don't want that. Diffuse that right away. Oh, wait, great catch. That was a good setup coming from Red Team. Good follow from Kool Aid. Catching the side B from Falco with the down tilt. Setting up light oh. to the top of the blast zone. Red Team is starting to carry this away. Yeah, they're, they're at least in the driver's seat for right now. If Entarps loses the stock, or if Entarps or Mars loses the stock, it's going to prove pivotal for whoever. Yeah, uh, but still, what teams still have 12 players. Okay, good catch. Got the up air on both the opponents. Left side, got the up smash is being thrown out. I feel like this is where Mars' strength lies. He's really good at just catching opponents, not paying attention to specifically him. While their focus is like yeah. towards the light. Yeah, he's a distraction. He's, 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 the, he's yeah, 100% <laughs> honestly. Hey, look at me, guys. I'm Fox. Fox, there he goes. Back air, up smash, good Ooh. bye and good night. Mars and Light gonna move on to grand finals. Falco. Fox and Falco, honestly. The space season in general, Star Fox returning home, returning to home base. Help me, Starfax. You're my only hope. What?